Hello everybody, Neon here, doing another Underlords video, working on that big boss status still. It has taken me far too long to get that. I think that I've just been experimenting a little bit too much, even though I've like been trying not to. The game I just played was kind of a disaster. It was frustrating, but you know, it happens sometimes. Sometimes you just can do like a mess. Sometimes you're just like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how to play this game, guys. I'm gonna try and focus on doing something like super simple and straightforward. Like I'm trying to think, I'm just thinking about the other game that I just played because it was it was so difficult and and I had so many things going on and I couldn't decide what the direction was for it. I think that that's like my biggest problem is I need to do better at picking something and just sticking with it. Um, I, I guess it was part of it that I just had a few options that I'm like, okay, this is interesting, this is interesting, this is interesting, but I can. Um, like, I was kind of missing a few different visual pieces uh, in each uh, different, like, direction. And had I just, like, not been... Um... It's good chain, no. There was an adventure in the, the lineup I would have probably gone for um, an adventure perk, but... It's fine. <laughs> Instantly get these two guys. Uh, I, I go in better a lot. I'm going to try and mix things up a little bit. But yeah. This game's hard. It's a lesson. I'm interested to hear what you guys, what strategies you guys are, are liking right now. I, I've been jumping between a lot of different things of what I've been uh, liking. There's a lot going on in the game. I think that there's a lot that's viable. I'm looking forward to the Warlock rework, though. It's definitely below. As much as Chainmail is very good, probably should put those down because I'm going to be switching them around shortly, I'm sure. Let's get to work. Do this. Come saw. Don't want to take any of these. I don't think so. I mean, I'll take the Shadow Shaman because why not? But not, I'm very likely to play it. I think that he's a terrible unit. Good job, Tiny. Yep. Just leveling the, the back line there with a nice toss. I like it. Tiny's really good. I, I imagine you guys have figured this out by now. Tiny's really good. Fall from Grace and Master Menace are both really good. Um. I'm just going to fall for race, though. Let's, like, try just Hunter's, um, Warriors, even? I'm doing this for the Undead Focus. Oh yeah, we should be able to take this one, I think. Yeah, with the toss, it's a very good shot. Maybe not. That's frustrating. Oh, we were we had that one. That was annoying. Oh well. Not the end of the game. Keep on rebelling against these these inventors. They they want me. Pudge, 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 pudge. Sounds delicious. Um. Well, at the very least, we get to do this.
And this is probably going to just be better for this individual one. I'm very unlikely to keep him around, but... I could go Warrior's Mages, though. Like, this, like an early Razor is quite good. We got a lot of love too, I think that's what's going on here. Yeah, definitely. They have been a lot of level up stuff. They got like a, love, a a three cost and a two cost unit. So wow, they ripped me apart. That was not fun. I should probably move the brooch though to Razor while he's in, at the very least. She just sort of lose streaking here. <laughs> Sorry for I know that that's annoying. As long as my sister isn't here to slow me down, I'll be fine. It's better for the undead bonus. Technically, this gives me the elemental bonus as well, but the undead bonus is so good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't get to <gasps> the point even if I wanted to. Lena. I can't able to do anything early. Jesus. We're getting worked in these early battles. We have no old twos. It does feel like we're going. We're leaning towards hunters. This is fine. Um, like, like the razor's good, but he's not insane. I think we're gonna lose this one too. Our team is just too squishy. Like, it's fine to lose streak here, which is what we're doing, and we're kind of doing it in a controlled way. Like this will be number two. Oh, uh, we only have one. Sorry, I thought it was. I thought it was number two. Um, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can't reach this end first point. Should probably substitute some Slardar for the. Axe. Like definitely. I'll protect the team. This one. I thought they were going to put up a fight. We transition here. We, we go from losing to winning. These should obviously be flipped. I like the way you think. We're trying to go, at least, from, from losing to winning, but having a little bit of a hard time. Oh, oh. You're gonna do it? No. Ah! So close. So close. 
actually, I should have put this. Yeah, so that, I think that I lost that just from bad choices. Lone Druid is a powerful unit. So is Troll Warlord. This is just a really good pack for us. Yeah, let's just go warriors. Warriors, um, hunters. We're, we're on a very good path for it. Um, I think we just do this. I do want to keep the Slardar around in order to go... It's unstoppable here. Him, get on my face, axe, you're so bad. Brow Ranger. This isn't going to go well for them. Who's of our inventory, too? Um, there is part of me that's thinking about switching him with. Actually, I do. Let's, just, let's do this. I'll, I'll corner box them afterwards, because that, that's very good with this kind of setup. Oh man, we just ripped that apart, the, the tree apart. We, we have... Feel, feels like we got something going on now. Yeah, boys. We get it. We get some nice casual beast bonus in there too, with Lycan plus Tusk. We'll keep him around for a little while, the Lone Druid. He's like he's just such a powerful unit to to pass up on. I kinda like to just keep him around in case there's a reason to throw him in. Um Beastmaster. Let's prove wow, we are the best. Wrong positioning. Oh, please go here. Oh, I mean, he's actually tanking like the perfect amount. Just, just a, just a smidge. Just a. Oh, baby, can we talk about Troll Warlord? I. It's one of those units that like he doesn't fit into every lineup, but where he's good, he's so. Uh, this is what I get for hemming and hawing with some of the, some of this business. Um, sorry, Lord Ray. Pudge feels really important too. Get who we are, who we're going. Fun dead. Like mono physical damage. Ability. This was not a good battle. I mean, it's uh, a pretty good assassin's build, so I'm not surprised to lose to that. Alright, this should be on you. Second one. Issue is, what do I? Guess it's Beastmaster. I could also just like sell 
There's lots of possibilities of this shit I can sell here in order to get to my next impulse point, which I probably was right, I just couldn't decide what it was. This is a very good battle. Yeah, now I need to focus on my economy, um, because I, I, my, my board is feeling good. It has a lot of room to, to grow as well. Part of the reason that I'm so... oh, baby. Um... I don't know what I want to do with these if I want to buy them right now. I don't think I do. Let's just do let's just do this. Yeah, wait for the battle to start. Yo, yo. Yo. Should be okay. Yo. We're fine. There's a lot of stuff we can pick up here too that is that is good. In terms of the items, like any DPS item is great on Troll Warlord. <clears throat> Hunter buff would be great. Yo. Soul Basher is, is amazing. Um, Brooch should be here, I believe. Maybe Pudge should be in. Actually, I'm gonna love him here. Get Pudge in. That's the ticket. My layout here is working basically as I, as I intended. My, my positioning is working well. Can we get him in. What are we at right now? Because that's so what we have. So we are definitely gonna pick up a Kunta. Two, so I think that we are going to go six warriors, three, um, three hunters. We are, of course, looking to pick up Medusa and Tide. That'll be substituting for Sniper and Medusa, most likely. This. I mean, there's part of me that almost wants to play like a, a bait unit um, in the back line because there is a. I think there's at least one good looking assassin's lineup. Killed the shadow before he went off on my back line. <laughs> Pretty happy about that. Yeah, we're popping off. I love it. On a win streak now. From win streaking to lose streaking. From lose streaking to win streaking, rather. Other way, other way. They got this over because it's free. Because everything in this game is free except for rerolling. Yes. Beastmaster is up. I am going to want to push for Tusk 3 sooner or later, but um, I'm not in a rush. So, you know what I mean about the assassins, like this is the assassins player. I guess we, we did okay against them. Yeah, we're 
we're fine, I think. Yeah, we're, we're good. It's always hard to, like, kind of see exactly what's happening for, like, the first... 10 to 20 seconds of uh, in a battle because you're like, uh, people are jumping around a lot. It looks like there's damage happening. I'm not sure who's winning yet. And then, like, all of a sudden, the best players, and you're like, oh, someone's just getting ranched. 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 Oh, ranched. Ranched. <laughs> very different. Very, very different. Um. Arrows will rain on the battlefield. I'll save this for the level. With him. Ooh, which I recover. That's a problem. I, I'm kind of relying on Sniper here to take him out somehow. Yeah, assassinate. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, that was a, like, I don't know if you guys like, saw exactly what happened there, but like, Sniper here charged up really quickly and then assassinated the which I recover before he was able to bomb my team. That was really fucking sick. The combo of level 2 Drow Ranger with the Sniper and the, the Brooch means that I'm going to be... He's going to be going off a lot. Everybody on my team is level 2, with the exception of Troll Warlord. That's kind of insane. Well, actually, it's not even kind of insane. It's just basically flat insane. Need a ranger, huh? I think I'm going to delay my level for a little while. I, I really do need to pay attention to my economy, because I've been missing a lot more interest points than I kind of would like. I mean, I am with streaking, which is cool. But I... I Given the fact that I feel like my I'm power spiking right now, I, I really need to make sure my economy, my macro is is good. Uh, I mean, it's gotta be relic, right? Like they're both really insane. So it is five times, it is four times five, five times, Yo. oh god, um, I would have to, yeah, it's, uh, actually five times is 25 gold to get to the next level between, but I'll be able to do that with two friends. This is going to stay on my interest. Assuming that I will. Yeah, we're good. We're good here. Okay, I'm very happy with how this game is going. Very, very happy with how this game is going. I don't want to do this. Actually, no. I think the smart arm would be pretty good for this purpose. Kind of want to get the assassins to jump on him. He might need a couple turns, a couple moments to recollect and uh, weaken up the opponent's team before having to engage him fully. If, they, if I am against the assassins player, so yeah, like this is the assassins player. So let's see how this goes. So Slark drum back there, kind of wasted some time here. Uh, I mean, the, the Assassin's player has not been that big of an issue for me. I uh, guess he kind of was this time, though. So there's that. Interrupts my win streak, which... Once again, not the end of the world, but not happy about it either. Maybe I should just be corner boxing. Being level two cube. Oh, 
Ready to fight. I'm gonna realize something like right now. We need one more undead. Uh, and our next. So, I, I, we really want Kunkka as actually our next edition. That's, that'll be a big upgrade. That looks pretty good. That looks very good. Yeah, like, so, so Troll War level 2. Um, so I guess we're just gonna kind of spend our money on experience slowly. And not gonna rush anything until we find Kunkka. Because I think that when we get Kunkka, then our build kind of starts to kick uh, into a gear. Perez is the one who's in the top slot. I think that assassins shouldn't be that bad of a um, setup for me because I can just corner box like crazy. They don't have any AOE right now in their their build, but there is another. Um, player. This is going. This looks pretty okay. It feels like the level three kind of got a pop back there. Level three pudge. Mall has been stalking the pudges. Keeping them from me. But yeah, Kunkka will be a big deal for this because we get to make a armor the entire team. So we're going to round 25. So we're gonna get plus thirty gold. Um, thirty here. As a plus, plus thirty over the interest point. Yeah. Given the fact that particularly I'm looking for, um, like I know what I'm looking for, and that it is a level four unit, I I, I kind of feel pretty comfortable um, spewing a touch. I guess I don't know what I would put in if I don't find Kunkka, though. So. Yeah, we'll wait one turn on it. Let's see what we get. I am going to go for the friends and family discount. I think people are underrated. This one, it is really useful for being able to get in on Carter. And given the fact that we're still, like, not that late into the game, like, I mean, it's going to be going along a lot. Still, um, it's going to really reduce the cost of my team. Yeah, this is good enough. Um, it's not outstanding, but it'll be fine. And I don't mind having the magic resistance. Like, a lot of the teams that I'm like, facing against here are uh, pretty heavy of that uh, physical damage, but. Oh, that's my Discord guy, sorry. Um, I should be giving some weapons to use it here as well. Um, but yeah, like, they're pretty heavy in physical damage, a lot of them. But still, like, they, they kind of randomly have a lot of uh, magic damage. Or, like, some kind of magic damage handling in a lot of cases. So. Should be carrying this, I believe. I'm going to slow it up They're not ready to deal with me. There's, there's actually a pretty reasonable chance that it ends up being that I had six warriors, four hunters, with the fourth hunter being a level three wind runner, um, because we're most of the way there on a level three wind runner. Okay, the 
this is my opponent's um, layup right now. The setup right now is kind of kind of I'm a little bit worried about. They should be able to force me down reasonably well, but they're not online enough yet for me to be super concerned. We're taking a little damage here, and is our, our win streak? It feels like we're like getting a win streak and then we lose it, and then we get it, and lose it. It's really annoying. We're still in very good shape, but um, yeah, we do, we definitely also really want the title hunter. Those two units are going to like hunk up and hide our big, big, big improvements. Yeah. Like, look at all that. Let's do this. I think this makes the most sense. But yeah, so we have four undead, six warrior. I definitely need to reduce the start art. I'm thinking about the assassins, but I probably need to uh, be it's, it's too cute. Oh, baby. That felt really good. Kind of cut through, through them like butter. Have our first knockout. Beastmaster, you're out. Is there even one Enigma? I don't think so. It just like synergizes not at all with anything that I'm doing. I have to go to two. A lot of work. Maybe we'll do this one. Certain level three pudge. It's tanked adequately. Um, actually, we're doing okay here. It's going to be very very close. At least people are starting to drop out here, so you, like the fact that we are losing a little bit of health, like, I mean, obviously I would love to win, but um, I'm pretty happy with a high finish, and going into this late game with still 50 health is really remarkable. Uh, yeah, that is a conk to set me up for number two. Should just give up on this pledge. I, th I think given the fact that my opponent has um, a level three pledge, means I'm very unlikely to find a level three pledge as well. Yeah. I'm gonna fit her in soon. <laughs> Should be in the sniper spots, I believe. Yeah, this way I can probably get rid of it. Oof. Yeah, it's gonna be Moonshard. Moonshard, give you Roach. I'm gonna keep Sniper around for a little while until I'm forced to get rid of them, but he's probably not gonna make it. Um, too far. Put me on the battlefield, and I'll take care of the rest. Um. Maybe that's a good one. See what I mean though about the econ that it's that it's allowing you to do with the, with the friends and family discount. Like it feels like I'm just able to. Yeah, I'm. It's going a lot farther. It, it saved me like I think uh, ten goldish already. Maybe with my boat as well. Turns off. Boat's going all over the place. Battles are so fast. I almost wish the battles were a little bit slower, uh, especially the late game ones, so that you can kind of see a little bit better where things are going.
Where's the techies, man? Lots of techies. Um, no. I'm going to pick up the Slark in case I end up a, in a head to head with a high magic damage user in the end. Um, I'll punch. Slugger is in. Slardar, you are out. Lycan, you are in. Here is where getting your trouble. Three, Lycan. Yeah, we're pretty good. Gold. Tide Hunter, where are you? Well, this person we've had a bit of a back and forth with. It has helped. Now we're wrecking. I mean, our team right now is very good, so I'm not that shocked. I pledged level 3, though, yeah. It's, it has eaten up a lot of damage in his time. Hungry it boy that he is. Should probably get rid of this sniper soon. Rez is leveled. To ten. Yeah, it's time. Oh, I don't want that. I have all the information about her. Thanks I for know. picking me. Plenty of things about her. Ooh, if Trek yes. could see me now. I have won five out of five games against Gilbert. That's funny. Maybe they're doing better now. They seem to be to have been struggling with like watching their trajectory and they've been losing a lot of recent games. Um, but uh, yeah, no, we <laughs> ranched them. Lots of ranching happening here. Yeah, we we are like seeing what's happening here. Um, our opponents are really struggling at this point. So I'm just going to keep on doing exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to pick him up because why not do all this. Slark, I don't need. Um, get him out. Brow Ranger is free. I'm pretty great. I think the undead, you don't see it, but the undead bonus here is doing just absolutely so much heavy lifting. My lineup here is actually not correctly positioned. The pressure orb, um, yes. Here, um, brooch should be on lichen, I believe. Him. I'm gonna spin down a little here. Probably will go off of interest. Why did my pony get a nice night on her? Very good. 
I think they're like once I get a tide hunter, I will I will level. But until then, there's just like no point. You made the right call. I'm also just rocking it. Definitely gonna just throw him here though. You won't regret this. Jesus. Okay, so that's my point is not working. Fudge man, Gary in the day. My boy. What a beautiful, beautiful child. My beautiful son. This corner box. The AI here is being kind of a pain in the ass. I like the way you think. Uh, uh. There are Smart time choice. hunters in this game, I'm pretty sure. This. Like, there's an argument actually to just pay up the gold and have a level in order to turn in a um, Medusa. That was actually fucking good, right? You would help my army. Just do this and hope that it works. I think they should probably flip sides though. Assuming that I lose. Tight <laughs> under there, just going for a fucking trip. I'm so frustrated. Ready to hunt. Now it's all about layout. So I can't find the tide hunter. Radiance. Definitely going on Pudge. Too. I was afraid of that. I was thinking of checking, but just didn't think that I was going to have a chance. 
like if I checked and then reposition, then I, I, I was going to lose anyway. Good game, Perez. Well, leveled up. That's nice. Boss 5. Maybe we can get this done. Uh, still, but... That was frustrating. I, I don't know if there was a way for me... Like, I, I needed that tight Hunter. It would have made, made a big difference, I think. Or maybe not really. I don't know. Maybe it should be... I, I should probably should have been rolling earlier. That was a big problem. If I was rolling earlier, I could have found... I could, or, or like, I leveled earlier. I put some more battle stuff on the battlefield, but I get to kill them a little bit faster with under more pressure. Um, but, but as opposed to playing for the economy, because I was just playing super greedy, and there's just, there's just not a whole lot of my gold was going to do for me because I need to find the tide hunter. I mean, I guess it, it's supposed to be able to find me the tide, but it ended up working there. Um, interested to hear, of course, if you had any ideas of what, what it should have been done with the positioning uh, at that end stage of the game. It was a really good composition. Really, really good composition. It was also one that was just kind of natural, too. I, I was happy with how it uh, all ended up working out. But uh, anyway, good game. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you want to support the channel, one of the best ways is to check out our Twitch page where you can subscribe and you also get emotes like yo, trash, and pst. I'm hoping to bring in the cost of the trash and the pst emotes, but I need more subscribers in order to do that. You can also check out our Patreon, our Discord, and there's links to all of that below. Thank you so much once again for checking us out and hope to see you in the next video.